In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create beautiful infographics using charts like this one, and we are going to do everything in Canva. So if you are ready, let's jump into the editor. What is up everybody? This is Ronnie, your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about infographics. Uh, infographics just got an improvement in Canva and we are going to talk about this new feature. Uh, but let me first search for an infographic template right here in Canva. I want to start it from a template this time. I'm not going to create it from scratch. Let's go ahead and use this template right here. Really like this. Um, it's divided into one, two, three and four sections. Uh, and it's using the infographic kind of long vertical format. So this is going to be perfect. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to 75%. I tell you a little bit more about the project we are going to tackle today. And that project is talking about you guys, talking about our audience on YouTube. So uh, I've dived into my analytics from the YouTube channel, right? And this is what I got. So I've just fetched a few of the statistics that YouTube gave me. And the first one was pretty positive. It was saying, keep it up. Your channel got 35% more views than usual in the last 28 days. And then gives me a little bit more details. We got 2,043,396 mm -hmm. views. Whew, that was hard to pronounce. It gives me some information about the age and gender of the people of our audience, you guys watching the channel, uh, information about the age, gender is, was there too. So we have the top geographies and we have watch time from subscribers versus non-subscribers. So I've got a bunch of data here and I want to turn that data into a visual representation use that into my infographic and use a new feature in Canva, which is the new chart, improved chart and impro infographic feature. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is the template. Of course, I'm going to customize this quite a bit. Um, I'm going to be using different colors, probably mess around with the different sections of the infographic. I will bring my data and do everything so that it represents what I'm trying to explain. And that is, uh, data from our YouTube channel and the audience. All right, so uh, let's change the title for something more uh, related to the YouTube channel. So let's say, for example, audience on YouTube. And let's make this more personalized, not audience, but our audience on YouTube. Okay, we will care about the colors a bit later. I just want to input the raw data for now. So the first piece of data that I want to show here is that the progression, okay? So that was the first info here, 35% more views in the last 28 days. So I want to represent this. Okay, so I'm here on the templates um, tab, okay? What I'm searching for is the charts tab, okay? If you don't see the charts tab here on your left, side panel, let's say it's not there. Uh, it means it will be under the three little dots right here that says more. So click here and you will find your chart uh, category, your chart tab right there. So click on that. And this is what's new in Canva. You have new and improved charts and visual representations that you can use in your infographics. So let's go ahead and find something like this one. I could just simply click on this one and click edit and it will bring me to the process ring. You can see here, but I wanted to show you as well. You can start from scratch. If you don't already have this guy right here, you can start it from scratch by simply clicking. See, it comes here, clicking on it from the left side panel. And then from here, you can customize this thing. So the percentage, okay, so it was 35. So I'm gonna input 35. And then the line weight, you can make this fatter or thinner, you see, like this. Then your percentage label, do you want to show it inside of the circle or do you want to hide it? Okay, and then rounded at endpoints, you can make this rounded or you can make this simply like just straight edges. Okay, so that's how you do it. Uh, it was already pre-made here, so I'm going to use this one. So I'm just clicking on it and you will see an edit button together with a few different things. 
first you will see the font you can change the font inside of the statistic if you want to i'm going to stick with the original one but what i want to do is to of course change um, the numbers so i can either double click on it to access the panel where i can change the different settings and the data or i can just click once and then use the edit button all right it's really up to you the first thing i'm going to change is the percentage of course 35 percent okay so i've grown 35 percent and let me grab this your channel have got 35 percent more views than usual in the last 28 days okay so i would say 35 percent more views that's going to be the title that i'm going to use here and then here i'm just going to give a little bit more information about the number of views actually i'm going to copy this part of the information and paste it here okay all right so i have my first piece of information what i can do is to make this slightly smaller and bring it here because i will need that space for the rest of my infographic okay that's just my first section uh, i like that maybe i can make the title bigger so i'm going to ungroup this box right here you see this is a group of elements i'm going to ungroup it so i can actually make this text slightly bigger and also this one so 18 yes this is relatively small let's go for 30. so i have my data here i have the information now it's pretty cool uh it's pretty complete so the second section should be talking about the audience so age in and gender okay so i'll have two different charts here one representing the breakdown of male versus female and the other one kind of showing me the distribution of our audience in terms of age so i will have to represent the age brackets and then show somehow represent this data so two different charts let's go let's create this um, i like these um, the way they represented here these two different pieces of data of course it's not going to be this type of pie chart or progress rings uh, it's going to be something different right so let's keep using that i'm going to move this slightly for now and move this one up okay. move this one down all right and move this one here okay so all right this is how it looks like i'm going to keep these as my titles so let's start with gender and then age distribution perfect okay we have this now let's start creating these charts right so for the age let me see the data 54 percent female and uh, 45 percent male okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to come back here this time i'm going to use a different style of visual representation i'm going to go for these pictograms right here so i'm going to click on this and once you do canva will open a new panel and here you have different things that you can go for different types of icons stars drops glasses whatever you know i'm gonna go for this i'm gonna use this and then i need to represent 54 percent so here i can see the first slider indicates the total item so total items should be a hundred right a hundred but then it gets pretty big so the first thing i'm gonna do is just gonna reduce the size of this thing right here it's too big i'm gonna make it like this yes and i can make this a bit wider kind of like this yep i'm happy with this so that's the gender uh and of course i need to fill items so that's the number and now should be 54 percent uh, of the audience is female so first let me change the color of this thing right here for a light gray because i want some contrast and i want the blue thing here I know this is going to sound very cliche, but I'm going to represent the female as pink uh, and the male as blue. So what I can do here is just type 54.2% of our audience on YouTube is female. The rest 
let's say 46% uh, is male. Okay, so this is very basic statistic, but still interesting to understand. All right, let's now talk about age distribution. So I'm going to be representing this data right here. You see the different brackets. I can see that the bulk of the audience is between 18 and 34. So I have this information right here. I've imported it. Of course, I will delete this later, but because I need to create that chart, uh, I will need to input all of this data. So let's go and create that. Let me go back to the charts. And for this one, I'm going to be creating some sort of like a graph with bars. Okay. I want bars because I feel uh, this is basically going to represent better my age distribution. So there's a couple of things I need to get rid of first. So for example, the third column and even the second column, I don't need uh, three columns per data. Basically, I just need one. So if I go here, the first item is going to be 13 to 17. Okay, second 18 to 24. And I'm going to speed things up because this is pretty boring. I'm just inputting all the data here. All right. So this is the chart. This is how it looks. I'm going to drop this here. I'm going to get rid of this one now. I don't need this anymore. And let's make this a little bit smaller for now. Maybe, yes, I can drag this slightly. All right. Now I have this visual representation of the age distribution. I can see 13, 17, not too many, then the bulk of my audience is here. So I can write this here in the summary. The bulk of our YouTube audience uh, is aged 18 to 44. Okay, so that's good. It's interesting to have that this data because I kind of understand what are some of the interests of this age population. 18 to 44 gives me an interesting understanding of what generation I'm talking to, which is very important. There is two more pieces of information I want to show you, and we will style this in a second. And second one is like the localization. So where do these people in my audience live? So I'm going to go ahead and have another line here. So I'm going to copy this line, control C, control V, paste it the line. Okay. This indicates there's another section right here. And this is going to now indicate the top geographies. So let's do this. Let's use this. So top, let's say top countries. Okay. So we'll see what we do with these guys. But first, what I want to do is to uh, create my chart for the top geographies, okay, the top countries. And for this, I have this Excel spreadsheet here where I have pasted the information because this is another trick I want to show you guys. Let me select this and I'm going to right click and copy. Okay, sorry, this is in French. I don't know why, but it's copy. So I just copied this information. I'm gonna go back to Canva and I'm going to start a chart, okay? I'm going to use some of one of these charts, for example, this one right here. Okay, this is really big. I want this to be smaller, like so. And what I'm going to do, you see, uh, so the donut chart, and by all means, you can click on the little drop down arrow right here, and Canva will give you more options. See, I can change, I can toggle from one to another here. So I want a pie chart or a donut chart. Let's go for the donut because it's the morning and I'm hungry. But uh, yeah, let's say I use this. This is going to be my chart. Instead of like manually type in and input all of the data, which I just did earlier for uh, the age distribution, I can also paste data from a spreadsheet. If you see this little box here, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paste here and you see the data from my spreadsheet is now inputted into Canva. So this is a real game changer, guys, uh, because the data is here. I don't have to input it again. So perfect. I'm going to be using that. Let's change how things are displayed a little bit. This guy right here, don't really know what to do with him. So let's put it here for now. Let's have that for now. And I will have to, to style this somehow. OK, and then the last bit of this infographic will be uh, about the number of people who are subscribed versus non-subscribed. OK, 
Okay, so let's do this. You see this little bar right here, the yellow bar. So I'm going to delete that. And what I want is something like this. Okay, so the progress bar. So the last piece of data is watch time from subscribers. 75.6% of people who watch the videos are not subscribed. What a shame. I'm about to leave right now and leave the tutorial hanging. No, of course I won't. So what I want you to do is to subscribe to the channel because this piece of data, guys, makes me a little bit sad. I have to admit, uh, we are working so hard for this channel. So uh, if you find some value, go ahead and subscribe. We have new tutorials every week. I know this is a shameless plug for you guys to subscribe to the channel, but I think it's worth it. So uh, yeah, let's come back to the design. 24.4% of the viewers are actually subscribed. Let's represent that. Let's go back to this visual. And I want to have 24% here, like this, um, line weight. This is good. I think I'm gonna live with this percentage. Uh, yes, let's keep it and rounded edges, no. Let's keep it like this. Okay, so now I have this. Yes, this is pretty good. I can make this bigger. And I'm going to center that like so perfect. And these guys right here can come on top of it like so. OK, so I'm going to change the text and say I'm about to quit this job because not enough of you guys are subscribed to our channel. A lot of exclamation points. All right. Um, yes, make a donation today. No, but rather subscribe to our channel right now. And I'm going to paste a clickable URL to the channel. Okay, so that would be bit.ly slash YouTube Canva. All right, and I can make that clickable. But first, I'm going to ungroup this. And this text box is the one that, that is going to be clickable. So the three little dots go to your hyperlink and paste your link. All right, you can regroup this. All right. And I'm going to speed the video. I'm going to uh, style this template so it looks exactly like I want it. All right, so I have this so far. I'm pretty happy about the result, about the styling of this. Um, so yeah, let me show you a little trick right here. I want another photo like this one. This one I cannot change the colors. This one I can. So what I want is to use the little eye button here, the info, and see more like this. Yeah, I want you to show me more like these. So that's perfect. Make them smaller and they will be walking on the bar right here. Okay, so I can select this one, use the little copy style button and copy the style here. And now I have something very consistent. So that's what I wanted to show you. I'm going to make the big bell bigger right here. Subscribe to our channel. Maybe you know what, what I can do. I will ungroup this and what I will do right here. So remember how I pasted an hyperlink here. I'm going to take this, copy it. So I copied this, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to have a button here going to go for shape and I'm going to create a quick button here. Okay, this guy right here. About this size. Yes, make it big. Let me first add the URL on the shape. And now I can create text. It says subscribe. Okay, subscribe. I'm gonna bring that in the middle of that button and make it white. And there we go. We have the button, we have the box. It's perfect. Let's group them. And there we go. We have our infographic, it is complete. So thank you for watching this tutorial until the end. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will leave a few other videos here for you to continue watching, continue learning. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.